Hey everyone, Chris G here, and here we have the new Lenovo Think Center 24 inch all in one. Now we've got a lot of talk about and not a lot of time, so let's find out if this thing is any good and if you should buy one yourself. First thing, I love the form factor of this computer. I think this may be the, my favorite form factor in an all in one, maybe ever. You just have the straight base, the screen tilts forwards and backwards, which is really nice. Obviously it can pivot on the table. It cannot move up and down, but just pop a book or something underneath it. But Lenovo cleverly put all the IO both on the back of it and on the side of the base. They also left a little bit of room here on the stand just in case you wanna put a wireless charger on that thing later. Anyway, all is to say this thing is just designed super well. It's thin, it's lightweight, it'll sit on the desk and you'll just forget that it's even there. Now the thing is, it isn't perfect. It does have a couple of drawbacks, but let's go ahead and get into those. First off, the screen. It's FHD, it's matte, it's non-touch. But you know, if you're somebody that doesn't need all the bells and whistles and high resolution, it does have fairly dark blacks and fairly crisp whites and overall doesn't ghost too bad. And the nice thing about it being matte, even though it's not too bright, is that if you sit underneath direct sunlight, you won't have to worry about like not being able to see and the glare and all that other stuff. With that said, it's just not as premium or high definition of a panel as I would like. The speaker's quality on it is trash. They do advertise, what is it, audio by Harman? Anytime a computer company advertises their audio quality, it is always junk. But it's hard to complain because this computer comes in at like a whopping $500. And if you can find this thing for $500, I think that it's an absolute steal. You do have a webcam on top. You've got Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth baked in. Some people may complain that it doesn't have Wi-Fi 7, but come on guys, it's a $500 computer and you know, you're just basically buying stuff that they had left over. Anyway, let's get back to the IO for a moment. On the side on here, you've got USB-C, you've got a TRR, RS jack for TRRRS jack for both microphone and headphones. You've got full size HDMI. You've got two Type A USB C USB A super speed ports. You've got one regular USB where you plug it in because it doesn't run on solar energy, and then another HDMI put thrown all the way to the side that is in fact throughput. So you can use this thing if you want to play your PlayStation, Xbox, etc. Now with that said, even though you can plug in your PlayStation or Xbox, I probably wouldn't use this thing to stream on Twitch or using OB Studio, anything like that. It's not, it's, it's powerful enough for productivity, but it's not a gaming machine. It uses Intel UHD graphics. It uses the Intel U series processors. Basically it's very entry level, but it's fine for productivity tasks. You'll have no problem having like a ton of Chrome, Firefox, tabs open, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, that kind of thing. There is one funny little switch that I'd like to discuss though in terms of the input and output. On the side of computer, you will notice a toggle switch on and off. That is a digital webcam enabler or disabler. Normally they have like a little shutter on the top where you can just kind of close it and make sure that, you know, people can't hack into your webcam and see you running around naked. Um, but in this one, they just put like a little digital switch and it does in fact work if you have the webcam open and you flick the switch down, it will cut off your webcam. So that is kind of a new interesting thing for um, actually that I've seen on any, uh, any modern computer. This particular unit does come with eight gigs of RAM, but it is upgradable. And also this one has a 256 gigabyte solid state drive NVMe, but it is also user upgradable. The webcam quality on this thing looks like this. Here's what the camera quality looks like on the Lenovo all-in-one. It's And overall, I think the bang for your buck that you get out of this thing is pretty damn stellar. I mean, 500 bucks, and you can do probably anything you need to productivity-wise. This thing is for somebody that doesn't need something fancy. They just need a computer to sit on their desk to knock out their interneting and emails. If you're a small business, you could use this thing for your admins. You could use this thing as a check-in, check-out computer. If you're a content creator, I probably wouldn't use this thing to edit like any kind of meaningful video. Podcasting, that kind of thing, you could probably do on this thing just fine, but if you're getting really into the weeds of audio editing, it just simply isn't powerful enough for that. Again, gaming, as we discussed, you could probably do some Minecraft and some light level stuff, but you're not gonna wanna play any AAA titles on Mac settings. <laughs> Good girl. And overall, I think this is gonna be perfect for either your grandma and grandpa, somebody that just doesn't need a lot of horsepower, and just overall is going to be a good, reliable computer that is very serviceable post-warranty that just does its thing. So. Do I recommend and do I like the Lenovo all-in-one 24 inch? I really fricking do. It's a good computer. Go ahead and buy one. You can't beat the price and you can find them used for even less. I got this one for 350 bucks. Can't go wrong there. Anyway, if you have any questions on this Lenovo all-in-one Think Center 24 inch, please reach out to us in the comment section. Please like and subscribe and we'll be back with another video really soon.